1 John 4, verse 10, the Bible says, This is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. What does the Bible teach about the human condition? Jeremiah 17, 9 tells us that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Ouch. But did you notice? The divine cardiologist doesn't say the murderer's heart is wicked. No, friend. God's Word declares that all humanity, whether we're child molesters, mass murderers, or respectable church-attending law-abiding citizens, all of us have a terminal heart condition. Our hearts are deceitful and desperately wicked. Our hearts are so deceitful that we don't realize how desperately wicked it is. But aren't there some good people? The answer really depends on your definition of good. If we compare ourselves with each other, then we could be justified in saying that some people are better than others. After all, you wouldn't want to put a serial killer in the same class as you would Mother Teresa, would you? Of course not. But there's another way to look at it too. Years ago, Israeli Secret Service agents kidnapped a Nazi war criminal, Adolf Eichmann, and put him on trial in Israel. At one point, they brought a witness to the stand. And when he saw Eichmann up close, the man fainted. Later, when asked if it was the evil of Eichmann that made him faint, he said no. Rather, he said it was because he looked at Eichmann and saw himself. Well, Eichmann didn't have fangs and claws. He was, by outward appearance, okay. And yet, placed in the right circumstances, he did terrible evil. And that's the point. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says in Romans 3, verse 10 through 12, There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks after God. They have all turned aside. They have together become unprofitable. There is none who does good, no, not one.